episode 52 review of Pokemon Horizons is here today! Members, Poke fans, we are here. Um, I'm actually surprised I was able to get <laughs> this video done today. Uh, I just finished watching the episode. And as I mentioned in the previous review a couple days ago, this is a Roy-centered episode where the mindset that we're all going for is that Watcho was going to be evolving in this episode. So let's talk about it. Alright, so this episode was generally okay. It felt a little random in certain portions. I, I I thought the story was going one way and then it went a different way and then it twisted around and went a completely different way. So I don't think they had a real goal or path of how this episode was supposed to be structured. At least that's how it felt to me. It, th this episode literally felt all over the place. In spite of that, I, like I said, I don't think this episode was generally bad. I do think the outcome at the end does feel a little out of place. I do not think that Watcher should have evolved at all. I don't understand where this mindset came in. Right? Because of the fact that, you know, it's not like Watchful has done anything, right? None of, a lot of these Pokemon haven't really done too much to garner an evolution, which is why I said the same thing when, when Spirigatito evolved to, to Florigato. Like, it just felt like it just happened to happen. Like, oh, the, you know, subverting the expectations, you know? Like, the main character's, like, partner has never evolved before. Because, you know, Pikachu never evolved in the previous series. So, like, look, you know, Liko's not like Ash, you know, she's gonna evolve this Pikachu all the way to a, all the way to a potential Masquerada, you know, like, like, that's the vibe that we're, we're being sold, right? And I just think, like, this, this evolution itself feels a little worse because Watcho has literally done nothing. It, he, like, we had, like, the capture episode and then it just, like, disappeared for, like, 15 episodes or so and then we would, like, randomly see snippets of it. And then we had in the finale of season two where it like sacrificed itself when fucking that one chick was throwing an, an ultra ball at the Rayquaza. It's like, bitch, I'm not letting you do that. And then it got blown away. And then realistically, the only other thing that this Watcho has done is powered up Dot's machine, you know, during, you know, Roy's exam, right? Where they would have to like build this art thing and like she had this like crazy ass ferris wheel thing that she created right and then watcher was like the electricity behind it so i'm just sitting there like did this watcher really deserve an evolution here? from my point of view the way they handled it itself is fine like, i don't have a problem with the evolution method right uh, i don't honestly don't know how the fuck you get killer watcher in the games because I, I don't think i caught one maybe i did i don't recall so like i don't know if, like it's just the fact that like oh the gimmick in the game is that it has to like go through like this like flying motions or something like that. I don't know if that's the whole point that they're going behind it. My thing is, why did they have to write this episode right now? Like, why did they have to have him evolve in this episode? It just, it feels a little off, okay? If anything, Fuecoco has done way more from Roy's side of things. So uh, you would think that Fuecoco would be the one that would evolve next, but then they'd be like, oh, well, we don't want them all evolving their starters like back to back. So we have to like, find some alternate route to go with but this is ridiculous okay i said this in the last episode review that i was gonna make sure to call out a bullshit scenario when i see it and this is a bullshit scenario like it doesn't matter how much i like roy as a character it doesn't like uh, it doesn't matter how much i enjoy him and and the stories they build around him but this was not it and it's not like the episode was bad okay i'm not gonna sit here and say the episode was bad because i love what they did with Roy and how they handled him with the Cavs kid and the Cavs kid like like gaining his trust and shit like that like all that was fine I love everything that happened up to the evolution um, which like I said the evolution wasn't terribly done okay it wasn't terribly executed I just don't think that it needed to happen I do not think this episode needed to exist in the context that it does because I don't believe Watcho has earned an evolution okay so while the episode is good as a standalone concept, right? And I really enjoy what they did with Roy, the rivalry between Watcho and Fukuoka, like being showcased, the, the fucking rhyme showing up, which was also like a little weird, okay? 
Like, don't get me wrong. Ryan was, I just felt like she was just thrown in there for no reason. I think she's just there supposed to, like, signal what the next episode is about, which is the fucking Annihilate shit. But, oh, ghost type, you know. And Ryan is, like, the ghost gym leader. And, like, the, the bitch. The, the, I, I honestly think that was a throwaway. I, that's what I mentioned. Like, it felt like things just happened, right? They were just, you're, you're going from one point to another and to another. And I really thought they were going to go a different way every time they brought something new. Which is why the episode is not, like, amazing for me. Like, I'm so used to, like, Roy episodes being, like, way up here in terms of, like, quality. And this one just felt, like, a little, like, oh, I'm down here. Like, I'm, like, I'm not, like, terrible. But, like, I'm just not up to, like, my okay standards. And that's one of the issues I have with this episode. For a Roy-centered episode, which they've, every single one of them has been, like, a, a, a hit out the park, you know, baseball references. If you don't watch sports like I don't, like maybe you won't get into. Anyways, my point stands. I just feel like this is not. This was not like on the top or echelon of like Roy episodes. This is probably, this is definitely like on the weaker, weaker end of like. If you were to rank all his episodes, this would definitely be on the lower end. And I just, I honestly do not think this is. I, I don't think the Watch Revolution was necessary. I don't think it should have happened. And I, while I don't mind the way they did it, right? I don't mind. Like the whole, like, oh, I got to save my trainer from falling to his death. So I have to evolve. Because we've seen this before. And probably in other episodes. Um, even if they weren't, like, similar to it. This wasn't meant to happen. Okay, this this, this honestly feels a little rushed. And and then, like, Kilowatcho is now, like, chill with Play Coco. Like, guess because, like, oh, look, I evolved first. So I get the edge now. Like, I don't fucking know. Um... So I just felt off, okay? That's basically what I wanted to state. And that's basically, like, all I'm, all I'm gonna talk about this episode. Like I said, when it comes to Roy Center episodes, I get really hyped and excited and a lot of stuff. And I, I, I was tempted to do a lot of that for this review, but then I, I, I realized, but then I thought back to myself, I'm like, it, while the episode wasn't bad, I needed to state, like, like put my foot down saying, hey, this was not okay, this shouldn't, this shouldn't have happened, like, this felt a little off and a little rushed and all that stuff. So I think that's better for, for me as, you know, to not let my biases run you know, rampant. So we're going to leave off the review there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I have been your host, Soros Croxon, and I will see you guys in future videos, streams, shorts, and everything in between.